All right, guys, welcome back to Dork Den. Um, we're going to do a little small discussion about Suicide Squad movie. Got Tyler Ward here again. What up, guys? Um, he's just going to be asking me some questions. Uh, my views and opinion of this movie are a little bit different than others. Some people fell in love with it. I'm still right there in the middle. So here we go. All right, so I haven't seen the movie yet, guys, unfortunately. But I'm going to be asking him questions uh, to get a better understanding of someone who hasn't seen the movie to understand what it's like to, if you want to see it or not. That's how we're going to do reviews around here. So, uh, first question. Um, we got a great cast. You got uh, Jared Leto as Joker. Right. You got Margaret right. Robbie as uh, Harley Quinn. So hot. Um, you got some other dude playing uh, Killer Croc. Uh, <laughs> I really have no idea. Yeah, name. I have. I don't know his name either. So. Uh, but uh, a lot of good cast. And Will Smith is Deadshot, of course. Right, right. How, how do you feel the cast contributed to the character or how the character was represented on screen? Because I know, I mean, I'm not a big Suicide Squad right, fan. Right, right. But how do you think they turned out? Uh, they did great. My the person that best fit his role was Diablo, in my opinion. That dude went insane. That he did so well in that movie. They covered his, they covered everything from his backstory on up. It was great. I felt like they did a great job with Diablo. And as far as that shot, of course, Will Smith killed it. He did phenomenal. I don't think. Uh, as as I'm sitting here now, I can't think of another person that should have played Deadshot. Uh, Joker as Jared Leto, everybody knows, should have got more film time, that's yeah. for sure. Um, he said, you know, he had recorded enough film for his own movie, actually, and, you know, there's... Well, they also got that Harley Quinn movie coming out, so we could always see that well, kind of venue yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's going to shoot. So hopefully that'd be cool. Um, um, as an origin story, as the origin story part of it, I mean, does it work as an origin movie, or does it expand beyond that? It could easily expand beyond it, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, is there like a central villain to the, to the movie, or is it kind of someone thrown in, or...? It was... Uh, the villain was alright. I thought it was kind of a little thrown in there, but, you know, it was cool. They did, they did fun. They had fun with Enchantress, and I thought, you know, it was pretty cool, in my opinion, but I think... It also could have been a lot better. Right, right. Um, speaking of better, is there like certain scenes you can point out that were, um, uh, I don't want to say bad, but I mean, different than what you hoped or different than what they should have done to the DC canon or did oh, it, it contributed to the whole DC extended universe? It contributed, I would agree with that, but I felt like there were was some backstories that they could have hit a little bit better on, but as far as as the amount of time they had to explain people's you know backstories, they did a pretty good job with it. But they could have gone in depth a little bit more with the characters that were just brought in instead of you know we knowing the characters, you know. Right, right. And um, action scenes, action scenes, amazing. And music choice, I've also. Uh, it's been compared to Guardians of the Galaxy with music choice, but is it as good as, as like soundtrack wise? Soundtrack wise, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. The the soundtrack was just as good, good or great as Guardians of the Galaxy, in my opinion, because I like that kind of music in both styles. Right, that's awesome. And then, uh, so overall, what was your opinion on the movie as a whole? Opinion. Like, you want me to give a, like, 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 5 like star just, rating? Uh, or? Just uh, overall, what you thought worked for the film and what didn't for the whole, I mean, sort of like, if there's anything that comes to mind. Killer Croc. Killer Croc, did he, I mean, was it a good thing? or? It was like, like they could have done better. Better? Uh, as in, like, practical effects-wise or CG? Yeah. That, no, it was just like, it's Killer Croc, and like it's cool that they put him into like that human form style, right? Like they're trying to get to, but like, man, spend the extra money and like, and then yeah, CG, CG it out it. because it could have been a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, last thing I want to ask you here is, uh, Ben Affleck as Batman in the movie. How was it? Everybody has their own opinions about Ben Affleck. At first, when I heard he was doing it, I was like, not really 
<laughs> Stop it, Nike. Uh, my opinion was right away, hell no. Like, that was my opinion. Right. Like, dude, you, uh, like, horrible, like, cat devil. Like, yeah. So I felt like. And then Bad Ever Superman came along, and I was like, okay. Yeah. I can see him as Batman. And he did a pretty well, I mean, damn good job in that. And, and Suicide Squad, how was he? Like, I mean, was he in there a lot, or? The, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he was. Yeah, kind of. Um, I'm just trying to remember. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was in there quite a bit, and I felt like he did play a really good scene, like when he picked up Margaret Robbery and, you know, Harley Quinn, it was like, ah, get in my car, I'm taking you wherever I want, you know, it was like, it was awesome, and then, I don't know, he did good, I, I don't think it could have been better, so I think he filled the position just right. Do you want to see a Suicide Squad too? I don't know how where they would go, like as far as like story wise, I don't know where they would go. I'm sure there's a lot of options for them that I don't know. So, feel like yeah, there could be, but it could be also like just like the movie expanded. I don't think as far as I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess like yeah, there could be. I guess, but I don't think it would be like. Better than the first one is what I'm trying to say. Right, right. Any closing thoughts you want to give to our fans about Suicide Squad? If they want to go see it or not? Definitely. I mean, it's worth every penny. You know, it is great. It keeps you very interested, and it was good. I felt like I felt like it was a success, but on you know other people' ratings and everything like that. It was you know everybody everybody slashes DC and stuff, so. It's whatever. I'm a DC fan, so. Anyways, yeah. All right, guys, that uh, does it for us in our Suicide Squad question and answer session. Um, this is what we're going to do instead of a review. We're just going to ask a few questions, get a little bit of feedback from fans or people that have watched it, and. Uh, Make uh, if you don't like that, let us know. We'll try and switch, yeah, we'll switch it, up. it up. All for you guys. So. Yep, and tons of awesome stuff coming in the future, guys. Tons of awesome stuff. Uh, stay tuned. Like, share, comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. See you later, guys. Adios. Bye.